Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday uh, and Wednesday afternoon. So usually on Wednesdays, we play with the Rancheria Servia on Wednesday on my afternoon, my live uh, streaming session here. So today I'm going to show you guys uh, how to steam the, uh, steam the milk for latte milk uh, using uh, Rancheria Servia. By the way, if you guys have Rancheria Servia at home, so my particular model I have, Let's see here. Let me give, uh, give you guys a quick preview. Not the preview, but over, give you guys a close look on my machine here. So this is the Rancheria Serbia version 6. Okay, all black. And uh, I did, I installed PID. Uh, I'm using the Arbor PID on my Rancheria Serbia. And so this afternoon, we are going to use the bottomless pour filter. And uh, I set up, uh, this is equipped with IMS filter basket as well. So I got IMS filter basket with the bottomless, Arbor PID, and I set at 210 degree for the boiler temperature. Okay, so the measuring the outside, outside of the boiler at 210. And I know some of you out there likes to use like 220 or 215. So this afternoon I'm going to be using the Columbia uh, naturally processed coffee beans. Uh, I tried with uh, pour over yesterday. This thing is fantastic. So we are going to make you know, let's make a latte out of it. Tasting note is honey, rose water, and quamquat. So it's gonna be delicious. I already measured out 18 gram here. It's more like medium roast. Okay, more like medium roast. Let's see what else we uh, I can talk to you about. Uh, single boiler machine. Uh, PID. So, which means we have to brew and then after that we have to steam the milk. We cannot do it at the same time. So, that is one downside of using single boiler machine. So, and then, oh, by the way, steaming is not the same as any other machines out there. So, it's going to be, a, I'm going to explain to you shortly. So, you know, let's grind some coffee beans. What I like to do is, I, by the way, this plunge is, so this is more like therapeutic plunge. I got from Amazon for like seven bucks. Watch this. You can take the, all the coffee grinds out. So we are ready to go. So let's talk about steaming, okay? Because steaming is a little tricky. I know people, I mean, if you guys are watching my channel, most likely you guys own a uh, Brista Express or Pro at home. Maybe thinking about upgrading to Rancheria Servia down the road. But man, uh, so if you are upgrading to, thinking about upgrading to Rancheria Servia, I don't think it's not upgrades, more like a lateral move. Because the Rancheria Servia versus Re special Brista Pro or Express, it's not a upgrade sake so i mean if you're thinking about rental distributor to upgrade your current machine i'm gonna save some money okay do not buy do not upgrade to rental distributor uh, make sure save money and make sure get yourself dual boiler okay dual boiler with pid built in so that's i think that's a better uh you know better uh invest on your money for you because the reason why I bought this machine because I always loved uh, the manual aspects of the machine. I mean, that's all metal. That machine lasts forever. But same time, it's, there are 58 millimeter versus uh, 54 millimeter. There are two different machines. Again, I think I did a lot of cover on my channel. So make sure if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to do so. Make sure to press like on my video as well. Okay, it comes to steaming the milk. I can steam the milk within like five to 10 seconds. Extremely powerful. So compared to Brista Express, you are looking at what, 30 to 45 seconds there. I mean, the process are all the same. Put the milk just below the spout. But you know what? Let's get going. Let me show you. I think showing is a lot more powerful than just, you know, explain to you. So yeah, let's, 
Let's make some coffee here. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to change my angle. I think you guys can see better. And this way. There you go. This is better. Okay. So again, we uh, just dose out 18 gram. So I like to use a dosing funnel on whenever I use my niche coffee grinder. Okay. Since we are using the bottom less, ideally we're gonna use the WDT too. Okay. The thing is, niche does fantastic job clumping but give it that final touch okay and then follow by so this is the 3d print for puck rake you know that look like rake isn't it so I'm just gonna make sure everything is on nice and nicely distributed and flat okay and then if you want to just stamp uh, temp it directly if not you know just to the distribution, you're gonna do the temp. So I'm using the levy as well. So let's pull the shot. But meantime, you know what, let's do like small latte this morning, uh, this afternoon, more like cappuccino. I'm just gonna heat up my cup. So let's do one to two ratio. I think I'm gonna do what? 18 in and like low around 40 gram out for my latte. Okay. I wonder if I can give you guys a better view on this one. Okay, hold on a second. Here we go. I'm shooting for around 40 gram. Has a little channeling there. There we go. Come everything together. I'm shooting for 40 gram. That's perfect. 41 gram. I, I take that. All right. So meantime. So now we need to get ready for steaming. So it may take about a few minutes. Okay, actually, maybe like, maybe 30 seconds or so. Okay, by the way, meantime, man, look at this color. Just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so ideally, so there's different methods out there. Okay, you can steam the milk first and then pull the shot. My case, I pull the shot and the steaming. It all depends on what, what you like, okay? But again, the shot looks beautiful there. So by the way, let me know what, what do you guys think, okay? You guys prefer to steam the milk first or... Yeah, let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna get my milk ready. The best milk for that is I really enjoy the whole milk, okay? If you can do whole milk, it's great. I don't, you know, I'm not... I, I rarely do whole milk anyway, but okay. I'm just since I'm gonna do like a smaller size, halfway to the bottom of the spout there, okay. And I'm gonna wait till around temp boiler temperature around 260 or so, okay.
around 260. I'm just gonna flush out the water. Okay. So this one, you don't wanna tilt it. I'm just, I like to go flat as possible because this is so powerful. Something like this, so about nine o'clock range there. Just to let it rip. There's something you have to get used to using the Rentalia Serbia. Pretty much we are done. Yep, milk is done. That's it. Very uh, milky. Milk is very silky, just like wet paint there. So milk is good. And the follow by, just make sure wipe down clean with a wet paper towel. And if you can, flush. Only thing we gotta do is just uh, do some latte art here. Let's do some latte art. Here we go. That's not bad. Okay. That looks pretty good. You know what? Only thing left is let's try this. Okay. Yeah, let's try. All right. By the way, if you are just joining us, uh, welcome to my afternoon session here. Hold on, let me flip the camera around. So this is my uh, office slash my coffee studio in the Midtown in Tucson. And I own a small computer business and then one of my turn my one of my room into kind of like coffee kind of coffee den let's put it that way okay it's not a coffee studio all right so let's try this coffee cheers everybody yeah, it smells great I smell a lot of rose you know kind of like rose water wow you know why it's not bad it's pretty good okay I have to say you know what? So, I usually put caramel on my uh, coffee, but since th this is kind of naturally processed coffee beans, flavor is very rich and, man, very flavorful. So, I'm, I'm just going to put my organic sugar, okay? Organic sugar. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to put maybe one scoop of organic sugar on my coffee. You know what? I don't judge you guys, okay? Just put whatever you guys want on your coffee. You can put caramel if you guys want to. Okay. So just one scoop of sugar there. Cheers, guys. That's it. Just one scoop of sugar. All right. So. Uh, so I'm looking at all your questions right now because I set up a, a small, actually I got set up a computer slash my TV set up there so I can see you guys' questions. Okay, so let's see here. We have, man, we have Justin's on. We've got Justin, we got Catherine, Dan. Let's see, who else? We have David, Kelly. Man, welcome. We got Hans there as well. We got John. Man, let's see here. Uh, John, you know what? Let's see. We got John. We got Florian. Who else is on this morning? We got uh, Jake's on. Kelly, I think I mentioned we got Dylan's on as well. Good. Man, uh, welcome to the channel. Okay. This. So, again, if you are thinking about upgrading to Rancho Serbia, okay from your bravery machines I definitely for my opinion okay this you know it's just one man's opinion so I mean I won't do it because I 
you're not getting huge uh, increase in the shock quality. So, yeah, because it's, I mean, rental is all it's, it's a lot, it's, it's more involved. Let's put it that way, okay? So right now, let me show you guys. So now, if you wanna, if you wanna brew another coffee, Cool down the boiler. Right now, boiler uh, temperature at 236. Only way to cool down your boiler fast. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to start the hot water. Hot water faucet there. And then you have to introduce cold water to your uh, hot uh, boiler. So now, That's it. So this is the fastest way to do it. The fact is you do waste a lot of water in this way. So, I mean, it's not the perfect machine, but man, the Rancheria Servia has been around forever. Okay. So, I mean, if, as long as you take care of this machine, you're going to have, uh, man, 20, 30 years, no problem there. So everything is all replaceable. So many different parts out there. I mean, if you're looking for something longevity, yeah, I mean, that is the machine to get, okay? But if you want something nicer, obviously you can go with the dual boiler. Uh, 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 Rentually, a Serbia Pro is a dual boiler with the PID. It's about $1,600, so they are pretty fantastic. Okay, so Catherine asked us what diff a price difference between Brista Express and Rentually, a Serbia. Rentually, a Serbia is about $750 or so, around $700 range there. And the uh, obvious Brista Express by six ninety nine, so about the same price range, but this one I added uh, PID, so they bring price up to about thousand bucks total cost. So yeah, you got thousand dollars versus Brista Express. Brista Express already have PID built in. So I mean, if you are, this is your first machine, I don't know. I think I definitely go with the Brista Express just because it's a lot easier to use. But if you are a hardcore coffee lover, I go with the Rancho Leo Serbia. So it's all, de all, all depend on the, you know, what you guys like. We got Richard, let's say we got Richard just joining us as well. Richard has a lever machine, uh, need a way to steam the milk. Uh, Richard, uh, which one do you have? Which lever machine do you have? I'm tr trying to find out what Richard has. Because there's a lot of different steamer out there, the milk steamer. I think I'm gonna show you guys one of them on Friday too. Yeah. Yeah. I think, hold on a second. So you got Pavin, Pavin, Pavin. Okay. Got the Brista Pro. Okay, so yeah, Brista Pros are great. Okay, I think. Uh, so Richard has a rock. Okay, that's good. A rock with a GC upgrade. I don't know what G, what is a GC upgrade? I don't know what GC upgrade that is. Rock is also another fantastic machine. So rock is somewhat uh, similar to flare. Okay. And then John mentioned about, yeah, uh, John, yeah, Behrman. Okay, Behrman works great. Behrman's st stop type is fantastic. So if you have, you know, a rock and the Behrman, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, I know Justin. Hey Justin, what do you think about uh, your Batman? I know Justin has Batman at home. So okay, and the uh, Provin mentioned about the still dining the pro needs some uh, your recommendation. You know what, Provin? Uh, watch my videos. Okay, I have nothing but how to adjust the grinder setting on my channel. So yeah, make sure uh, make sure spend some time on it because it's hard to because every grinder are different, built-in grinder, because your grinder, if I say number seven, it's not the same as your seven, because you, yeah, you, got, you have to play with it. So let's see what else there. I think we are good this afternoon, okay? Anyway, this coffee is, is amazing. So this is, uh, this is a naturally processed coffee beans from Good Brothers Coffee. Columbia, uh, heat roasted on July 1st, so it's uh, really fresh. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with this coffee so far. Okay. And then, uh, so also the Brent sent me the, where is the whole beans? 
So this is the naturally processed whole beans, the green beans. And then we are going to do some uh, roasting, uh, maybe, you know, let's do that next Monday, okay? I was planning on doing it yesterday, but yeah. So let's do that on Monday as well. And then what else is going on my channel? Yeah, I got some more unboxing coming up this week. Uh, uh, we are going to keep play with uh, DF64 rest of the week as well. So, you know, I have to say, I'm, I'm really enjoying the DF64. Don't get me wrong, niche is fantastic, okay? I have another grinder right next to it. It's a Mazer Mini Grinder, 58 uh, millimeter flat burr setup. Pretty good too, so. Let's see here. Uh, Dan asking about the Chai tea video. Yeah, uh, hopefully next couple of days, Dan. Okay. I gotta edit the, the Chai tea, the recipe. So, anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, Justin, do you feel like joining, uh, joining us on Instagram? I'm sure, uh, and the show us your better man. So by the way, if you haven't followed me on Instagram page, make sure to follow me as well. Because I do a lot of like live interview right after YouTube, so it's a lot more hands-on. So, um, so let's see. So I think we are good to go. Make sure like on this video, and then I'm gonna jump into Instagram right now. Hopefully, Justin can show us uh, his Bearman uh, stove top. Okay. So let's see. I think it's Richard. I think uh, Richard, if you are interested in Bearman, yeah. Hopefully Justin can show us. Okay, see you guys next time.